Hey, what is up, guys? This is Tiro back with another video, and without wasting any more time, let's just get into the point. Today, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you like almost every flashing guide together in this video. At least I'll try to do that. So this is an actual flashing video. So listen to the things I say and like follow this video. Watch this video till the end if you want to know everything about this flashing procedures of this Redmi Note 7 Pro right now. Well, this method may change in the future again. But as of right now, this is the procedure you should follow. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the like, how do you move to MIUI from any custom ROM? Or if you have bricked your Redmi Note 7 Pro, let's guess you were just like getting the fast boot option. If it shows like the system has been destroyed or stuff like those, how can you go back? And by the way, right now I am on the Resurrection Remix ROM. I don't know if you can see it right now. And my TWRP is currently decrypted. So to do in this video, I will just show you at first how to go back to MIUI. Then from MIUI, how can you go back to any custom ROMs like AOS IP Derfaced or be it Havoc OS or maybe if you want to flash the like ROMs like Pixel Experience. Well, Pixel Experience would be a little bit simpler, which I'll talk about later. But right now, let's just straight up jump into the fast boot flashing options. Well, in this Resurrection Remix ROM, we get an option to like directly reboot to bootloader or recovery over here. Well, if you do not know like how do you boot into the, like fast boot from anywhere, you just need to hold the volume down over here. I don't know if you can see it. You just need to hold the volume down. Then you just need to hold the power button together. So I'm going to hold it like that for now. And make sure before doing anything you have like backed up everything it just took a screenshot never mind so right now i'm currently booted into fast boot and i have already downloaded the fast boot rom for this redmi note 7 pro and if you don't know from where to get it it's from en.miui.com i'll link it below of course and download that zip file and then follow this connect the phone with the type c cable to your pc now here is a fast boot file zip now you will have to extract it. Once done, open the extracted folder and you will see a file which has no file type. So now rename it to .tgz at the suffix and make the name a little bit shorter also so that you don't get errors while extraction. Now once it's extracted, Move the mother folder of images and all files to desktop just for convenience. Now open me flash tool on your desktop and hit refresh then you will see your device here in the list if it's connected in fast boot mode. Now click on select and locate the folder you just moved which will look like this. Now click ok and select clean all option from the bottom. Now just hit flash. One thing here you have to keep in mind that while flashing you may see errors like this and do not worry if you get these kind of errors while flashing. Keep trying to flash it at least twice or thrice or more than that it's totally normal. And while you are flashing the MIUI via fastboot on this device let me tell you that I have put the AOS IP Dirtfaced and like other ROM GApps and the fcrypt disabler file on this SD card so I'll just put it into this device and I'll use it to like flash all the ROMs over here right now because the device will be totally wiped so make sure if you have like any important files do back it up like do back up every file you have on the device beforehand once it shows success it means it's done if you look at your device you will see it's rebooting to MIUI So currently as you can see the flashing procedure was successful so it is booting back to MIUI and of course you will have the Mi recovery right now your TWRP will be removed if you had it previously so it has pretty much stock MIUI right now but with unlocked bootloader over here of course so I'll just wait. So currently as you can see I'm on like booted into the MIUI and here as you can see we have the MIUI stuff of course this is the lock screen I have already entered a pin so let me just enter the pin and show you as you can see I have a pin over here and I'm successfully booted into MIUI so that is how you can go to MIUI but now let me show you how can you go from MIUI to like custom ROMs like the AOS IP Dirtfaced or Havoc OS. So right now I'll just like hold the volume down and power button again for a long time and as you can see it finally booted to the fast boot mode again. 
So let me connect to the USB cable over here. And of course, we are gonna need the like TWRP recovery, of course, because let me just show you if I like, so if I hold the volume up and the power button together now, you can see that it's booting back to the MIUI recovery. So that is why I need to reboot to the fast boot again. Let's just hold the volume down and power button again to reboot to fast boot. And as you can see, we are rebooted again. So let me just connect the USB type C cable to the PC. And now all the work is on the PC. We are gonna need the Peter Serial Blood P. So here I have downloaded the Peter Serial Blood recovery, which just says recovery.img because I extracted the folder. So now we are gonna have to like hold shift on the keyboard, then right click, then open command window here. Now you can leave the shift. Well, of course, this is a like desktop folder. I have the recovery over here. So now we have to type fast put flash recovery space recovery dot img as in the recovery's name over here is recovery dot img. So let's hit enter. Now once it says finished, go back to your phone now and hold the volume up and the power button together until of course you feel a vibration. So as you can see, it says decrypt data. So we have to enter our MIUI pin to like get into this recovery. Let me show you by entering the pin. So as you can see, it says data successfully decrypted and we are in the TWRP recovery. And here, of course, it shows all the folders now. Now you may ask what should we do from here? Let me just quickly disconnect this USB cable because we don't need it anymore. Here, let me tell you that you need all the ROM files in a SD card or something because we are gonna have to format the storage. And as you just saw when I rebooted to the recovery or when I first rebooted into the TWRP recovery, it asked me for password. Well, that simply means that the recovery and the whole device is encrypted. So right now, to get like totally unencrypted or totally decrypted, we need to format the storage. So how do you do that? Let me just show you, it's simple, like go to wipe, then format data. Now, if you go to wipe and format data, yes, your phone will be totally decrypted. But then again, if you flash ROMs like Pixel Experience, which are encrypted, it will just like encrypt your storage again. And your Twitter P will ask for password again as soon as you set a pin inside your Pixel Experience ROM. So to avoid that, you have to flash fcrypt disabler after each ROM flashing or like just select the ROM gapps and fcrypt so i'm gonna do that right now i'm gonna go to wipe then format data then type yes and i'll just click on this right so as you can see i formatted the data so even though if you like reboot right now it's gonna encrypt the terabyte again so do not reboot just keep your device aside and like go for your sd card or something where we have all the rom files and stuff let me just lock the device let me put my SIM card aside. Let me put the SIM tray back again in the device. Now, once you are done and like inserted your SD card, swipe to unlock, go to install and from select storage, select this micro SD card over here. Now we need the latest firmware, which is the China weekly firmware. So select this firmware violet 989 over here for me right now. Let me just select it over here. Let's now go to add more zip. Now we're gonna flash the iOS IP interface. So select that ROM file then add more zip again then select the gapps and also we need the fcrypt disabler if you do not want to get encrypted so let's add more zip and fcrypt disabler so once you have selected these now swipe to confirm flash now let's just reboot system and here we have the beautiful logo of the avsip interface now as we are booted into the system i can set up the rom right now simply but let me just do it and let me enter a pin and show you guys if it really asks for password inside TWRP recovery. And I'm just really sorry for the dog barking in my neighborhood. So currently here, as you can see, I have successfully set up AOSIP Derf face ROM. And here, of course, the ROM is running fine. And if you go into the settings, let me show you that inside about phone, this is the AOSIP Derf face, the latest August build, which I did a couple of videos on this like device and here I have set up a pin already let me show you that it does ask for pin over here so let me just like enter my pin 
and as you can see i have like a pin in entered in this rom and the fingerprint scanner is working fine in this rom as you can see i'm just showing you this because like my phone is locked right now with a pin just to show you that now if i reboot to recovery let me just do that go to advanced and like reboot to recovery here you will see that it does not ask for any pin or password so that is how you know that you are decrypted and to flash like all the kind of roms you need to get decrypted on your storage so if your twrp does not ask password like this and if you have followed this video you will be totally fine to flash any rom out there for this device let's guess now if you want to flash any kind of rom like pixel experience or havoc os so the things you need to do just go to wipe advanced wipe dalvi cache system and data now swipe to wipe once you have done that go to install and select again and select like wherever your rom files are let me guess that you are flashing like havoc os so select havoc os then select the g apps then also you need the fcrypt disabled this is a must zip file if you want to get decrypted and if you want to flash all the roms on the redmi note 7 pro you definitely need this fcrypt disabler file if you want to flash any rom out there so that is all i had to say in this video guys thank you so much for watching this video let me just reboot to system now and enjoy the dark paste a little bit more and until next time this is tito from kdn tech signing off and please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and thanks again for watching and like letting me know that you guys are having problem while flashing this rom please share this video with your friends if you feel like if this video actually helped you this is tito again and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye now